welcome back to my channel Aparna Chandran here and today I'm going to take you through a quick abs and core workout we're going to be focusing on the deep core muscles that is our transverse abdominis and our obliques on our rectus abdominis as well as our spine because all of these muscles is what forms our core and it's very important that you improve overall strength you don't need any equipment with today's workout all you will need is a soft surface a mat because we are going to be working completely on the floor and you will want some cushioning for your knees and your back no timer today all you have to do is follow along with me listen to my instructions make sure that you are engaging your core you are breathing right because that's going to make all the difference so let's get on with it and if you do like this workout do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button i truly appreciate it okay first thing we're going to do is get started with our back on the mat now one thing i want you to remember is to have a neutral pelvis and by that i mean try not to arch your back like this and leave this gap because that's going to put the exercise into your lower back and not really work on your core and that can result in back pain as well so even if you can't push your lower back completely into the ground have a neutral pelvis so you don't want to tuck it in too much you don't want to arch it too much as well just have a neutral pelvis position so that your core is engaged your rib cage is down and your pelvis is down as well all right so for the first exercise we're going to start with both legs on top toes are flexed now beginners option to keep it here advance to your here hand goes behind your head so we're going to reach left elbow to right ankle you're going to reach there back down then one leg drops down and back up we're going to continue with that beginners you're here you're going to reach and tap all right guys in 3 on my count in 2 in 1 have a neutral spine so exhale inhale drop that leg down and back up two we only have eight on each side so really make sure that you're crunching in that core you're engaging that core there keeping it tight you're breathing properly pelvis is down the rib cage is under four in the back of my five good job three more who These slow and controlled movements will really help stabilize your core. Two and last one. Good job. We're switching to the other side now. So right hand to left ankle down, then the left leg goes down and up. We have minimal breaks in this workout, guys, because we want to keep that core under tension. Three. At any point, if you need a break, modify it. Pause the video, but get back into it. Do not give up. Remember, beginners, you're here. Four. Just four more. Five. Six. That core's beginning to fire up. Seven. And last one. Good. We're staying there. We're just holding those legs on top. Beginners, you're here. You're going to crunch and out. Rest of you. Total ten, nine. Slowly, exhale. Seven, six, five, two, four, three, two, and one. Hug that knee into your chest just for a second. Our core is already activated here. We're going into our obliques. So both legs in a tabletop position. So if you're starting from here, single leg tabletop, double leg tabletop. Again, make sure to keep a neutral spine. Beginners, you can keep your legs down. We're going to go into an oblique crunch and straighten it out. Beginners, the opposite leg is down. Advance, you're here. Let's go. Exhale, inhale out. Exhale, inhale out. Again, if this is too tough, drop that other leg. Three. Modify however you need to. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. Nine toes are pointed. You know what's coming. No break. So switching to the other side. Let's go. Crunch and out. Try and reach to the outside of the knee. Reach the elbow to the outside of the knee. Three. Four. Just breathe. Five. Exhale on the crunch. Six. 
I don't want this D coming in. It stays at 90 degrees. 7. Beginners, you're here. 8. 9. Good job. We're moving on to bicycles, guys. Slow bicycles. Let's go. 1. 2. Beginners, you're here. 3. 4. Good job. 5. Just 10. 6. Whoo, 7. 8. 9. Control. Slow and control. 10. Good job. Hug those knees into that chest. Hi, yeah, yeah. That core is on fire. All right. Legs go down. A little bit of obliques. Take one step forward with your legs. Upper body lifts up, shoulders off the mat. Try not to look forward, you're looking up at the ceiling. Try not to strain that neck. Neutral position. We're going for heel tap, heel tap, and crunch up. Let's go. Tap, tap, crunch. Two. Just breathe normally. Three. Remember to breathe. Four. Just exhale up on the crunch though. Five. Six. Seven, whoo, eight, I told you, we're working on the abs and the core. Nine, last one, good job, and relax. All right, guys, we're turning around, on to our sides. So, you're lying down on your left side now. Your right leg is on top. Resting your arm, sorry, resting your head on your forearm here. We're gonna work on those obliques a little bit. So we're gonna start off with lifting both legs off the mat. Now if this is too tough, beginners only the top leg is here. Right, we're gonna lift both legs on the mat. We're gonna lift up that top leg and down. Top leg and down. Now I want you to remember that you're engaging your core. Try not to fall down into the ground, push the ground away. This hip is activated, your rib cage is activated as well. Ready? Let's go. Lifting both legs up. Top leg goes up and down. Option to take support here. Two. But if you want a little bit more of a challenge, hand here. Three. Four. Control. Five. Six. Again, beginners, drop the bottom leg. Seven. Eight. Toes are pointed. Nine. 10, we have 5 more guys, inhale up, 5, 4, inhale, exhale, 3, 2, good, and hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax. All right, this bottom arm goes up straight and you're gonna get it forward here in front of your shoulder. All right, right in front of your shoulder, straight in line there. This arm goes up. Now, we're gonna crunch up our upper body and the lower body and then back down, all right? Beginners, if this is too tough, one leg is fine. Ready, let's go. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, three, Four. I'm hoping you can't hear the construction next doors. Five. Six. Whew, those obliques are working. Seven. Good. Eight. Lift a little higher if you can. Just two more. Nine. And last one, we're gonna hold it up there again and hold for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, and relax. Before we switch to the other side, guys, we're coming on our backs here. All right, single leg tabletop, double leg tabletop. We're gonna go for a straight crunch and in. If this is too tough, one leg at a time. Let's go. Crunch up and in. Option to have your hands under your lower back. Inhale, exhale. Three, four, slow and controlled, 
five only till table top i don't want the knee coming in all the way six seven eight nine and last one ten good job we're switching over to the other side now first first one we're resting on our forearm we're just gonna lift the leg up and down so advance you're up here beginners only the top leg ready let's go four ten inhale up exhale down 15 sorry three four control the movement option to keep your hand here for support five six seven eight nine ten five more four three two and one and hold for ten nine eight pulling in that core six five four three two one relax hand comes forward here hand comes up we're gonna crunch up that upper body as well tongue roll crunch up that upper body as well let's go exhale inhale down two beginners only one leg three you'll be able to lift that a lot more four come on guys exhale up five toes are pointing six those obliques are working seven we're almost there you guys are doing such a great job eight nine last one and hold for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and relax good job guys we're almost done we're coming into an all fours position now the last little bit and then you guys are done all right coming on to your all fours position wrists and shoulders are stacked in the same line knees directly below your hips so we're going to start off in a bear hover now remember one thing i want you to do is try not to push down onto your shoulders push the floor away corkscrew your elbows so corkscrew your elbows such that the pits are facing forward all right from here we're gonna start off in a bear hover ready curl your toes in lift up and hold for 10 9 really pulling that core in your deep core is activated here 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 good from there we're gonna rotate tapping the left knee to the ground here back to center and then the other side drop that hip back to center two exhale inhale back to center three good job we're working on those obliques again four Whew. just four more three steady guys steady two good last one good job and just hold it again for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one push into a downward dog and hold it there crunching in your core core is still tight for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one from there push forward into a plank you this is your last exercise coming down onto your forearms you're gonna hold a forearm plank for me and just hold for 20. just breathe guys squeeze those glutes try not to soften that leg squeeze those glutes straighten the knee beginners you're here last 10 seconds nine eight seven six five four three two one and relax 
sit down in child's pose. You did a good job. You deserve it. Whew. I hope you like this workout, guys. Like I said, short, quick, lot of slow movements, activating those core muscles, stabilizing the core muscles, working a little bit on those abs, and not very short. So you can use this as a finisher after your main workout, or like maybe if you go for a run and then do core, that's great too. Or on days that you don't have time, you can use this as a quick little workout. Hell's all over the place now. But um, I hope, I hope you did enjoy this workout. Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what other workouts you would like to see on my channel. But for now, signing off. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.